Cardoonies. 101. First thing you gotta do is pour a glass of wine. Add a glass of wine. Opeachy. This one right here. You give some of this to a friend, you'll have a friend forever. Chin down. Cardoonies. Celery. Celery with an attitude. Everybody spends forever in a day trying to make them clean and string free because nobody wants to eat a stringy artichoke. Cousin. Like this. Make it one sip on hammered already. How'd that work? Uh, no, it's not an artichoke. It's a celery, but it's got a lot of string in it. And everybody tends to think that you got to pull all that out because it's bad and it's nasty and it's evil. But as you know, I've found new ways to deal with evil stuff. And I, I'm going to slay the cardoonie for you. Promise. Cut it up. Just the ends. Don't waste it. Some brown stuff here on the end. I square them up. scrap with that. They got hair on them. Take the hair off. I just go along the edge. Just the very edge. Okay. I got all the hair off of mine. This is all I wound up with in the way of junk. Normally it's a lot more because now people get into trying to peel. You don't, don't peel these. No, this is not for peeling. So see how it's got a crown? See how it's a horseshoe like that? I put that up. The hump goes up. Then you take your knife and split it. Right wherever it wants to split. So you wind up with like a filet. Pretty soon it's going to be for eat. But for now it's filet. I'm going to split it. What you're looking for is the size pieces that you want to eat. I like them to be about this wide. Now that I got them cut to width, we're going to make them in the eat size pieces. So I got this piece like this. I line up a couple few of them because otherwise you're going to forever in a trying to make this thing happen. And then now you split it up. Once I cut them, I put them in my pot over here. I got a kettle over here. It's got a school of Boston boat right in. There's ice cold water. I'm going to take some lemon juice and throw them in there. The citrus gets into the, into the plant and makes it taste pretty awesome. And I'm gonna leave it there. That's where they're getting their bath. That's where they're gonna get. That's where they're gonna find their home for the next little while here. So I'm gonna chop all these up, rinse and repeat, and I'll be back. So I got these all cut up. Got a little ricotta salata and some more vino. They're in a bath. Give them a little scrub. Scrub them up. Get all the caca and the funk off them. I strain it. Change my water. Okay. There they are. They're in the pot. Going for a nice bath. Gonna set the timer. There's no salt, by the way. Do not. Do not put any salt in the kettle. With the water. You're not making macaroni. You're making cardoonies. They don't need salt. Set the timer for about an hour. Alright, so... We've got to check these bad boys out here. They've been cooking for about uh, almost an hour. So I just took one out. And i got to see if it's going to be stringy. See when you bite through it? Try to bite through clean. These are perfect. They're, everyone's going to be just like this. Fabulous. i got to pull these out. Strain them. And don't forget. So, we're cold. We've been in cold water here. We're cold to the touch. 
and we want to get rid of the water because water makes the egg run off and it makes your egg a mess and it's just nasty. So I'm going to lay these out. And that's it. That's two whole stalks. But once you start frying, you're going to see this is going to fill up a casserole beautiful. I put mine in a corning dish when I'm cooked because uh, that's what works for me. So I'm going to get some of this water off it. Just pat it. Pat it off with a nice clean white. Never buy a paper towel with ink on it and colors and Come on. You don't want to wipe what you eat with ink. You just want nice white clean done. White in the kitchen. Put your colored stuff in the turlet for cleaning the turlet. That's where you want to paint that stuff. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take these things. And I'm gonna kind of work off this board come time to do it. So I'm just gonna leave them here. You don't want to keep moving them and handle them because then you're gonna make all smash out of them. So they're gonna wait here and then we're gonna I'm gonna go get some eggs and stuff. I'll be back. I'm gonna get some eggs and I'm gonna go get some breadcrumb and I'm gonna go get some garlic powder, salt and pepper, some cayenne pepper, and uh, I gotta top off my wine and I'll be back. Canola, that's what I fry in. My wife says it's heart healthy, so I gotta go with what she says because she knows more than than me about that. Gotta put a bunch in the frying pan. I pour it in while the flame is off because I just feel safer doing it that way. So you don't have to worry about spilling or moving the kettle with the oil or, or something flaming up or whatever. So that's all I say about that. I'm not gonna do anything with that right now, but when I'm ready for it, it's there. I got two bowls. I'm gonna do breadcrumbs in one and eggs in another. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna take these for a bath. I gotta, I gotta sit for a second. 